a group of wild Asian elephants, the largest and most powerful creature on the continent, are wandering hundreds of kilometers away from their home. Why? To find an answer to this question, one thing needs to be clarified first. The idea that Asian elephants can only live in the hot and wet rainforests of southwest China, where the wandering herd originated, is just a misunderstanding. Elephants were recorded to show up in the vast areas of China as far as the Yellow River Basin in history. In the past 3,000 years, they have migrated southward at an average speed of 0.5 kilometers per year. Climate change has played a role, but just pushing them to the Huaihe River Basin in the middle of China. Human activity has been the main reason for Asian elephants to settle down in today's area. If those elephants keep going north to Kunming and Yuxi, they probably need some time to adapt to the local temperature, which is colder than Xishuang Banna, but it won't be a big problem for them. Many people are calling this a rare migration, but Chinese scientists say it's been going on for decades. Back in 1997, they tracked a family of five elephants from Xishuang Banna to Puer. It was the first time that a herd entered Puer. Since then, more elephants have moved there, but they just to go back and forth between Puer and Xishuang Banna and never go any further. So why this time? Overpopulation may be one reason. The number of Asian elephants have grown from about 170 over two decades ago to 300 today. While well, Xishuang Banna natural reserves have also increased from 0.24 million hectares to 0.41 million hectares. Here comes the problem. Elephants are not evenly distributed within this region. We have established so many protection zones and hope elephants will go there. But it turns out they just don't move as you wish, but choose wherever they want to live. Natural reserves are actually a series of scattered protection areas. In some traditional habitats like Mengyang Protection Zone, as many as 80 elephants are recorded. But in some other zones, you cannot see any of them at all. We have been working on connecting those scattered zones with eco-corridors, so wild animals, including elephants, can move freely. Food might also be a factor. Asian elephants eat grass and vegetation closer to the ground. Since reserve forests are well protected, big canopies block the sunshine from reaching lower growing plants, and the grazers may find less food. That explains why the herd of elephants were recently spotted in an artificial robber forest. Lower plants started to grow there as local farmers took less care of the forest after the price of robber started to drop 10 years ago. Wild elephants have ample appetite and eat over 400 types of food, not only plants but also fish and rock. But scientists have also found that the abundance of food in some places the elephants live is far less than that in Xishuang Banna, so it's still very tricky. There will always be a destination for migration, but in this case, we don't see any of that. So this is not a typical migration. We think it is a natural expansion. It's a natural animal behavior when the population grows to a certain level, they will naturally expand outward. When everybody focused on the herd which is heading north and approaching the capital of Yunnan province, but scientists have also recognized at least three other spreading routes so far, to all different directions. Why they have kept wandering for so long is also a mystery. Perhaps they haven't found a suitable place to settle down. Leaving Xishuang Banna and Puer, the farther you go north, the less food you can get. But obviously, the Asian elephants didn't realize that. They keep walking but keep finding that there is no suitable habitat until they go farther and farther. There are several factors to call a place ideal for Asian elephants. They move naturally in response to availability of water, food, mineral salt, and shade. Scientists predict if they travel any further north, there won't be too much options for them to choose. And if you watch their path closely, you will see they move along highways. 
There are many crop fields along the highways where elephants can easily access food. If they walk in mountains, it won't be easy to get so much food. So the road network made by us is more or less helping them travel faster and further.